Welcome to Hello English Teacher. Today let's look at the multiple choice questions from the chapter Deep Water Class 12. If you are watching my video for the first time, please subscribe. You can listen to the explanations of chapters from classes 10, 11 and 12 English. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. Let's move on to the video now. Deep Water is written by William Douglas. So now let's look at the multiple choice questions from this chapter. Paragraph number 1. It seemed a long way down. Those 9 feet were more like 90. And before I touched bottom, my lungs were ready to burst. But when my feet hit the bottom, I summoned all my strength and made what I thought was a great spring upwards. So question number 1. What seemed to be a long way down, the narrator's travel on the road, his goal, his going down the swimming pool, he walking home. So the answer is C, he going down the swimming pool when the boy threw him down into the swimming pool. So the second question, what was 9 feet deep, the swimming pool at one end, Yakima river, his water tank or lake went birth. So we know that the swimming pool was 9 feet deep at one end and it was 3 feet at one end. So the answer is A, the swimming pool at one end. So in the next question, what happened to his lungs? He could not breathe properly. His lungs were ready to burst. He swallowed a lot of water. He was swimming well. So the answer is B, his lungs were ready to burst. So he was feeling suffocated. So let's look at the next question. What bottom is he talking about? The bottom of the bathtub, the bottom of the river, the bottom of the lake or the bottom of the swimming pool? So the answer is D, the bottom of the swimming pool. So let's look at the next question. Why did he summon all his strength to come out of the pool, to swim properly, to come to the top of the pool or to escape from the pool? So the answer is C, to come to the top of the pool. So now let's look at the second paragraph. I was shrieking under water. I was paralyzed under water, stiff, rigid with fear. Even the screams in my throat were frozen. Only my heart and the pounding in my head said that I was alive. So now let's look at the questions from this paragraph. Question number one. Where is the narrator at the moment? In the swimming pool, in the Yakima river, in his home, in the lake waters. So the answer is A, in the swimming pool. So next question. Why was the narrator paralyzed due to cold, due to fear, due to nervous breakdown or due to shock? So here the answer is B, due to fear. He was underwater and he was not able to come up as he had planned. So it was due to fear that he was feeling paralyzed. So next question, why did the narrator try to scream? He was seeking help from drowning. He was enjoying his swimming. He could not scream or he was excited. So the answer is A, he was seeking help from drowning. He did not want to help. He did not want to drown. He wanted somebody to listen to his scream and come over and save him. So that's why he tried to scream. So next question, how did he fall into the swimming pool? He slipped and fell. He did not fall. A fat bully of a boy had pushed him. He jumped from the wrong side. So here the answer is C. A fat bully of a boy had pushed him. So in that way he fell into the swimming pool. So the next question. How did he know that he was still alive? His breath and pounding in his heart. His eyes were open. His limbs were moving fast. He could hear noises. So here the answer is A. His breath was there and there was pounding in his heart. Which made him realize that he was still alive. So the next paragraph. This is nice to be drowsy, to go to sleep, no need to jump, too tired to jump. It's nice to be carried gently, to float along in space, tender arms around me, tender arms like mothers. Now I must go to sleep. So let's look at the questions. Question number one. What was nice according to the narrator? Feeling limp or the limbs feeling limp. Terror being wiped out, no panic and feeling peaceful, all of the above. 
so here the answer is all of the above so he was not feeling his limbs and the terror was not there and he had no panic and he was feeling very peaceful so next question what efforts had ceased he trying to swim faster he trying to come up to the top of the pool or he trying to go deeper into the pool or he trying to swim peacefully so here the answer is b he trying to come to the top of the pool so all his efforts had ceased so next question why was he reminded of his mother he felt being carried away gently he felt like floating in space he felt like the tender arms of his mother around him all of the above so here the answer is all of the above he felt very light he felt like his mother was carrying him or had her arms around her so this reminded him of his mother so next question where is the narrator at the moment in the swimming pool in the yakima river in his home or with his friends canoeing so the narrator is in the swimming pool at the moment so next question what kind of experience did he have in the pool he experienced death very closely he enjoyed his time in the pool he experienced fear he did not go to the pool so the answer is a he experienced death very closely in the swimming pool so let's look at the next paragraph next he held me at the side of the pool and had me kick with my legs for weeks i did just that at first my legs refused to work but they gradually relaxed and finally i could command them so let's look at the questions from this paragraph question number 1 who is the he mentioned in the bow lines the narrator the bully the swimming instructor or the narrator's father so here the answer is c the swimming instructor so next question what was he doing teaching the narrator to use his legs properly while swimming helping the narrator to do exercises helping the narrator to float on water or trying to help him to walk on water so here the answer is a teaching the narrator to use his legs properly while swimming so let's look at the next question why did he want an instructor to remove the fear of water to become an expert swimmer to get trained better in water all of the above so the answer is b to become an expert swimmer so that he could remove the fear of water from him so the next question what did he continue to do for weeks swim alone in the pool kick his legs in the water breathe under water no swimming for weeks so the answer is b kick his legs in water so the instructor was teaching him how to use his legs while swimming so next question what could he command finally the use of his legs in water the use of hands in water to float on water or to breathe under water so after this week's training he was able to use learn the use of his legs in water properly so here is the next paragraph i swam the length up and down tiny vestiges of the old terror would return but now i could frown and say to the terror trying to scare me eh well here's to you look so let's look at the questions from this paragraph question number 1 why did he swim up and down the pool to practice to check if fear still exists to control fear or to forget his fear so here the answer is b to check if the fear still exists so next question what would return while swimming up and down courage fear laughter or silence so here it is b fear would return while swimming up and down in the pool so next question what would the narrator do when fear returns stop swimming take more vigorous practice stop only for water sports or talk back to terror and challenge it so here the answer is d talk back to terror and challenge it whenever the fear returns so next question why did he talk back to overcome the fear and conquer it to have company to make friends with it or none of the above so here the answer is a to overcome the fear and conquer it so that's why he would talk back to fear and try to challenge it so next question was the narrator able to overcome his fear yes no 
to a certain extent often. So, the answer is yes, the narrator was indeed able to overcome his fear of water. So, here is the last paragraph. The experience had a deep meaning for me, as only those who have stark terror and conquered it can appreciate. In death, there is peace. There is terror only in the fear of death, as Roosevelt knew when he said, all we have to fear is fear itself. So, let us look at the questions. Question number 1. What experience is he talking about? Swimming in the Yakima River, nearly death experience in the swimming pool, training experience with the instructor, sporting activities with friends. So, here the narrator is talking about his nearly death experience in the swimming pool. So, next question, who can appreciate and understand the narrator's feelings? Those who have experienced fear and conquered it, those who have not experienced fear, those who are ready to experiment, those who are afraid to try. So, here the answer is A, those who have experienced fear and conquered it can appreciate and understand the narrator's feelings. So, next question, what can death provide according to the narrator? Hope, fear, freedom or peace? So, according to the narrator, death can provide peace. So, the next question, who is Roosevelt, the 32nd president of the USA, the narrator's friend, the narrator was his advisor, all of the above. So, the answer is D, all of the above. So, the last question, what is Roosevelt's opinion about fear? Fear is the one to be feared. Fear need not be feared. Fear can never destroy anyone. Fear is common for all. So, the answer is A, fear is the one to be feared. So, I hope you like today's video. For more informative videos, do subscribe to Hello English Teacher. Like, share and give your valuable comments below. Thank you for watching.